Hey guys, this is James Storm coming from Team Shadow Strike, and today I'm doing another clan discussion video. If you checked out the last one um, I did with Zane, it was over the Grand Blue. I uh, in it, I apologize to you guys for not doing these. Um, I've been doing them uh, all the clans as a um, as they came out in the season. I only have a small handful left, and um, I wanted to do Grand Blue with Zane, and I wanted to do Dimensional Police with this guy that you've seen on the channel before. He uh, just yesterday. He. Uh, his new deck profile is up. It's uh, close to the top. One of the newest videos was posted yesterday um, at around 4 in the morning. So if you do go check that so out. today. Yeah. So it was posted today around 4 in the morning. Uh, go check that out if you want to see what he's been playing as of late. So basically, um, if you're new to these by any chance, all this is is we're going to completely review the clan. I'm going to ask Christian basic questions about the clan, and he's going to give you his opinions on certain things and certain aspects, tell you what the strengths are of this deck, tell you what the weaknesses are of the deck, and maybe some general things that you just might want to know about if you decide to pick this deck up. So you're gonna, um, I'm, all I'm going to be doing here is sitting and asking questions, and he's going to talk. So um, anyway, so first off, um, if you are new to this channel, this is my friend Christian. Um, he is a member of our team Shadow Strike, and uh, he is our Dimensional Police player, um, and that's pretty much his clan of choice. And um, so much it is. we're gonna we're gonna jump into this right now. So, uh, Kristen, um, first off, um, like I asked Zane yesterday, if someone were to come up to you and ask you what is D Police in a nutshell, as far as how they play and what they are, um, how would you describe it? Uh, uh, people uh, seem to say that uh, it's an aggro deck that it's uh, just uh, all out assault. Uh, but really, uh, uh, Deep Police is a control deck. That uh, uh, people just think that because a whenever this guy came out, maintaining get two critical, and uh, people were playing get eight critical uh, in it. And me, I was playing eight draw and beating people uh, with it uh, because my uh, hand size. Uh, uh, makes uh, it uh, because people play eight critical back when it was just cross ride make uh, uh, makes it seem like it's just an aggro deck and uh, uh, for me that uh, 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 Daisha build uh, I could beat easily uh, and they would have a tough time against my build because my build is off the wall because I run eight draw three Mika and a Laurel for extra draw power. Uh, and uh, how often did I uh, uh, get a uh, grade lock, uh, well, Jaden? You had Goyusha, so... I know, but uh, uh, that's... How often did I get uh, him off? Back in the day, quite a bit, but it was... About 95% of the time. So that's... But... Go ahead. Uh, the the thing that the thing that confuses people about Link Joke uh, Link Joker, uh, the thing that confuses people about Dimensional Police, uh, let me see that, is most people when they 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 didn't take into account of how bit this is a good card. Don't get me wrong, but let me rephrase this, but take it with a grain of salt. The D Police players, this is actually in my opinion a very high risk bad card, but the reason it is it's gotten that reputation is because ever since it made its debut in the show, and it was uh, it was shown off by uh, Goyush, uh, shown off by um, Kenji. This card it, it 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 does get you out of a lot of binds. But the problem is, is when people were building their decks, they thought about just shoving as many criticals in the deck as they possibly could, and just trying to run their opponent over. But the problem with this is, guys, is it takes four rear guards off your off your field and shoves them in the soul, and that is a big minus. That that is why that's why he said he played more draw power. That way, if he if he got this off. And he got it off, and he went first. He's going to get two twin drives before you, but at the same time, he's going to get more. Draw, he's going to hit draw triggers to replenish the cards that he did lose. So in a way, it 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 took it it, it, it took a minus four and made it about a minus two. Actually, this is a. Uh, uh this card is a minus two because uh, so I don't count this as one of the minus cards. Seeing how this is a free rare card, uh, and 
running into a great three uh, 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 makes it a minus two, then swinging, I basically uh, 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 go uh, uh, notify the whole entire thing. Then uh, if I hit uh, even one drop power, I'm at plus one. And uh, uh, I got, uh, I always use this card on my second turn on grade two. Uh, that's how consistent uh, my deck was. Now, so, um, now then, um, what, what is, um, excuse me, what do you think is uh, looking at the clan as a whole, not specifically just the Dayusha part of it or any specific part of it? If you're looking at D police as a whole, what is like their main? What 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 is that? What is their main perk? What what is their best quality? Uh, the uh, main uh, quality quality is uh, just being powerhouses, kind of like uh, uh, the Nova Grapplers, but uh, just uh, attacking on uh, with the Vanguard at two damage or. Uh, just forcing out a uh, major uh, uh, hand uh, altogether. Because uh, you, uh, back in set four when Deeply uh, uh, was announced, I'm not counting set three because only four cards were released then, uh, which makes me want, which I kind of wonder about that because uh, kind of like Nubatama, uh, I w I'm thinking uh, that. Uh, Bushro didn't want to release uh, 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 Deep Blue set yet because they were a, a very powerful clan. Uh, but anyways, that's a different topic. Uh, 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 what makes them so uh, powerful is the fact that they get these uh, ridiculous skills uh, off like uh, 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 too critical or uh, minusing 5 to, uh, to Jason, <laughs> uh, or uh, minusing five to uh, your opponent's uh, vanguard uh, for zeal, uh, or being able to bring uh, bring up uh, more uh, uh, a rearguard rain, uh, or minusing ten thousand power to your vanguard, which is uh, uh, what the hell is the uh, re uh, reverse Dayusha, and also. Uh, uh, the newest card to the lineup. Well, not newest, but you guys know what I mean. Brings, I know I saw. Uh, brings so much power to the uh, force. And uh, same thing with Great Die Kaiser, which I view him as a draw power card rather than a pressure card. Because uh, 10 plus 2, uh, you get an additional uh, uh, drive check. Okay, that's basically Mika. That's all I see. That's just a Mika. Well, and a cross ride body. I mean, that's. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, now, um, like we talked about in the previous video, uh, now let's flip this coin here. What is, um, if you're looking at D Police as a whole, what is their weakness? Like, what, what, what hurts the clan the most? Uh, uh, draw power. Uh, they they have a tough time maintaining hand. That's why I uh, almost max. Uh, well, in this uh, build, I don't max out on draw power because I want to get uh, uh, the break ride skill off at least sometimes, more often, and all of that. But in my uh, cross ride, in my uh, chaos Dayusha cross ride uh, build. I maxed out on the drop power. I actually uh, showed when we went down to Houston. I showed uh, judge my deck, uh, 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 but because uh, uh, I just wanted to uh, get a reaction. And uh, uh, when he saw my grade threes, he just went okay. Uh, then when he got to my grade zeros, my trigger lineup. Uh, the moment he saw how many draws I ran, uh, he bursted out laughing. Uh, and uh, so I compensate for everything in my deck. Uh, 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 but I do run a shitload of draw power. I uh, run four of this guy, uh, uh, six draw, and 
also two of him. Uh, I love comboing him off of uh, Soul Blasting him when I'm at grade 3 because I can get max 10 cards, uh, which is uh, stupid. But yeah, uh, the uh, main downside to deep, uh, to really deep please in general is hand advantage. If you could take out uh, a deep please's hand advantage, uh, you pretty much win. Uh, now, of course, top decks are top decks, all of that, because uh, that uh, uh, my break ride is so fucking stupid. I, I love it. Okay, one of the co most common debates between players is uh, do do dimensional police resemble Transformers or Gundams more, in your opinion? They uh, uh, resemble uh, Megazords. See, that's that's what I believe. But, See, uh, now, uh, 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 Metaborgs resemble Transformers. These resemble uh, Megazords. Power Ranger reference if that went over your head. So, uh, whoever says that, no offense, but you stupid. Um, um, what do you think if someone wanted to jump into the Deep Lease clan um, and start out budgety and see if the clan likes them, if they want to invest in it, um, what is a good start Deep Lease deck for them and uh, what? Uh, how do you think it should be ran? Uh... It depends if you want to have uh, fun or be competitive. But if you want to have fun, <laughs> I'd go with that uh, Miracle Rain. Uh, it's so much uh, fun because you just loop it. It's honestly uh, an OTK. Uh, it can be an OTK if you just uh, uh, let your opponent be at zero damage and wait till you go off. Because really, uh, the loop is. Uh, uh, you have Rain as your vanguard. His uh, his skill is uh, uh, if he hits it uh, twelve. Uh, if uh, when he attacks and he has twelve hundred attack uh, power uh, 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 before he attacks. Uh, uh, if he hits uh, your opponent's vanguard, you can bring a, a unit a vanguard up. And uh, the rear guard that you target uh, is uh, called Miracle Beauty. Uh, her skill is whenever she's brought up, you bring the uh, rear guard uh, in the same column as her. Uh, so you, uh, so that rear guard that you bring up is uh, 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 Commander Laurel. Commander Laurel skill is. Uh, when uh, you rest, uh, uh, when your vanguard attack hits, no matter where, rest four units, uh, four rear guards, and bring your vanguard back up. And you honestly, to make it as consistent as possible, run 12 great triggers. I have trouble with my ST sounds, guys, so I'm beating around the bush majorly because I uh, don't want to uh, fuck up. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, you run uh, two miracle. You have two miracle beauties on both sides. Uh, uh, Rain as your vanguard. Uh, one uh, uh, one commander Laurel and any other two uh, rear guards, boosting rear guards, and you just loop it. If you only hit one uh, uh, great trigger, okay. Uh, 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 just to clarify, yeah. guys, he's meeting a stand trigger. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, and the the you just use rain skill to bring up the other side and just oh, goes through. Okay, stand back up, stand back up, stand back up, stand back up, and you can literally have thirty cards in your hand. Ooh, in your hand. Uh, and, but if you want to be competitive for beginners, I honestly. Believe, but uh, 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 storm is a good uh, good beginning. If you want to uh, practice, like if you have great Dayusha, now if you want to practice as if you have reverse, then zeal is the way to go uh, because that's a uh, 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 you minus your opponent's uh, vanguard uh, with it and 
you can mix in the uh, brick rides in bowl. Uh, whether you go uh, zero or uh, die Kaiser, really doesn't matter. Okay, and uh, a couple more questions here for you. Um, uh, in the future, what is uh, the one thing you want to see Deep Police get? Like uh, they already, they've already gotten units that gain extra criticals. I mean, would would you like to see Deep Police possibly get a restanding Vanguard? Yeah, that would that be nice, but that uh, that would also take the fun out of Laurel because uh, 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 people will overguard because uh, Laurel is on the field, and uh, I'm just like. Sweet, because uh, Laurel is a pressure card. Even if you do not uh, uh, use him, uh, your uh, opponent is uh, uh, probably going to uh, overguard if they don't have perfect guards. I'm not going to say that for sure, uh, but uh, uh, that's usually the case. But yeah, it would be nice uh, to get one of those, but. I just love how combo oriented Deep Lisa is already, and I'm a combo oriented uh, player. Um, okay, then the the last question we have for you that we always ask is if you are a if you're a Deep Lisa player, what clans or decks hurt you the most, and that you should be very very uh, careful when you are playing against? Like, what are the main clans and decks that you should watch out for? Uh, honestly, that. Uh, that's just a player to player uh, reference. Like, uh, I don't have that big of a problem uh, against clans. Now, uh, uh, back when uh, we, before the trial deck came out, uh, it was, uh, I was just scared of uh, uh, retiring the decks because I didn't want my opponent to nuke get this because uh, this was my whole entire thing. If you got rid of this guy, I was uh, 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 going to lose about, uh, uh, I'd say, 90% of the time because uh, I want to be uh, at the cross-ride numbers as fast as possible and there's uh, no way for me to get uh, 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 Dayusha into the soul fast, faster than him. But honestly, it's just player to player uh, uh, reference. Uh, would, it, would it also depend this? on how you build the deck? Oh yeah, it's it's always about how you uh, build the deck. Me, I uh, I built my deck as consistent as possible, so I uh, would be able to uh, adjust to uh, each match uh, uh, however I uh, needed. Uh, but uh, quite honestly, if uh, any deck that can uh, force me to uh, uh, to high damage really early, or the uh, knock out my hand really early uh, is uh, a deck that I do not like. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I don't I don't have too much trouble with uh, decks. Uh, I just look at my opening hand if it's shit. Odds are I lose. If it's god, you know the answer to that. Well, in the in the end, guys, the main thing that it comes down to a, is, well, not just with Deep Lease, I guess, with any clan, you know, it depends on if you're going to be building your deck closer to the control half of the control side or the aggro side, and you can have, I've, I've seen all the different hybrids, control aggro, aggro control, um, it, it, it it depends on how you build the deck, which determines your weakness. Now, there are some clans that are weaker against other clans simply just because the the space is so great. Nova Grapplers, period, are weak against Link Joker. It's not a judgment against Nova Grappler, it's just a fact. Um, clans like um, Neo Nectar or... Um, Jewel Knights, they lose very heavily to Link Joker or decks that push units off the board, like your Narukami, your Kagaros, or your even Liberators or Avengers. It's it's not a judgment against the clan, it's just a fact. Um, if you are playing one of these clans that have a severe weakness to whether it be a certain type of deck, whether it be a certain game mechanic, like retiring, binding, locking, or paralyzing, you have to be aware of this. Uh, fuck Meg, Meg calling me now. 
um, with the new Legion and Break Ride shit. And see, even with the Mega Colony guys, I mean, yeah, the Legion and the Break Ride, yeah, it's good, but it's just a new thing. Um, when Link Joker was announced, people were ready to people were ready to jump off the ship because they were scared to death that the lock mechanic would be devastating. And guess what? The lock the, the lock mechanic is devastating. Um, but it's, uh, it, yes and no to that. It, well, let, let, let me rephrase. Let me finish. The difference between a major this is okay. Mega Colony. And if, Sam, you happen to watch this, please don't take this wrong. It is much easier to screw up a Mega Colony deck and get away with it than it is Link Joker. Because the Break Ride for Mega Colony costs you absolutely nothing except riding. That is nothing. You basically ride the Break Ride and then you could just continue to Break Ride the Break Ride yes, as long as you can draw it out. So... There is... It, 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 there's not a whole lot to screw up here. Link Joker... If you were going to make a list of the top five most hard clans to, I guess, fully master, whether it be a certain deck or all aspects of it, Link Joker would have to be in there because the, the I've always said the difference between a bad Link Joker player and a good Link Joker player are the people who can um, space the lockout. And it, by the same token, um, for this case, the difference between a good deep police player and a bad deep, deep police player is the way that you are going to be minusing yourself, whether you're using effects that put units into the soul, whether you're using Goyusha, you need to know how to counter that. And um, if you don't counter it with draw triggers, then you need to learn when to play more conservative. Um, the main problem that I see with not only Deep Lease players, but players of all kinds, and Christian could probably attest to this, is they they don't take into account how many cards they're spending. Um, Zane said something along the lines of when we were doing the Grand Blue Clan discussion, if you aren't cognizant of how many cards you're milling, if you're not um, watching how many cards you're having to guard with, and while he was having to mill from his deck, it literally puts you in a hole that you can't crawl out of. So, um, one th the number one thing that we're, these clan discussion videos were meant for is to maybe make you a little more aware of maybe of some of the things that your uh, clan might be good or best against. Um, that is why every time I've done one of these, I tell you what its strengths are, what its weaknesses are. Um, and uh, some people have said uh, said to me things in the past, and I've told Christian this, uh, that. Um, do you agree with how he plays? Do you think it's a good style? Um, uh, it looks like it's opposite from you. Um, why would you want someone on your team who isn't closer to your uh, style? And what I've always said about that is I don't have to understand how Christian plays his deck. The only person that really has to understand how a deck plays is the person who created it. Um, I've never, I've never actually very rarely seen eye to eye with Christian on deck construction. I mean, we definitely talk about it and we can like suggest text to each other. And there's not only, in, um, Vanguard, um, in Yu-Gi-Oh, he was able to help me out with a lot of my texts and some decks that I was able to top at regionals for the last three times before I retired, you know, and, but when it came to an overall, um, construction of a deck, whether you're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, whether you're talking about Vanguard, he was always able to challenge me to try other things, whether it was for the good or the better. Um, so, just remember, just because someone tells you that your deck might not be what they view as best, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not good, it just means it's not the standard. But that's what, make Chris, that's what makes Christian deck so much, so much of a surprise, and for people who ran into it at Houston... Because when it's fair to say when you play deep lease that you're going to run into critical triggers, not not a shit ton of draw triggers. So, in closing, Christian, any and, any other final words? And also, uh, on that note, and also they weren't expecting to run into uh, both uh, Dayushas. <laughs> they were expecting one or the other, not both. So, anyway, guys, um, in, in the, the last thing that I'll say is um, the reason um, the reason I've never had really had a problem with um, because I've gotten a couple messages and just gotten general questions about some of the teammates that I have. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if Christian wasn't exact um, if he played closer to my play style. I really wouldn't care. But the reason I think me and Christian, whether we're on a team and we're playing. Um, three on three and it's best two out of three that way or if it's a tag team style what makes Christian and me and sync up so well is 
we both have our own style and it complements each other very well. Um, no matter what deck we play. And um, that, I would much rather Christian be the polar opposite of me instead of being a as close to me yeah. as play styles sync up. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, real quick uh, reference to, uh, I believe, season, uh, yeah, season two, uh, when uh, the Asian circuit, like Mizaki and uh, 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 Kamui, uh, 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 during the uh, tag team uh, uh, match uh, when Aichi was uh, out of commission and Kamui was uh, just focusing on attacking, bringing the power, while Misaki was uh, 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 keeping the defense uh, up. That's uh, uh, kind of how we are, but a lot better. Sorry, but Kamui and Misaki would lose to us. <laughs> but, um, the, but the general idea, guys, is the, the reason... When I very first started this team, I had two to three people that I already had in mind that I wanted Christian be on the first because that's, we started our Yu-Gi-Oh team there. And the, 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 the thing that always intrigued me um, about this guy was he never he never really followed any, I guess, meta line discussion debate. He just kind of looked at what people thought was the better decks, and then he built around that, and that's what makes uh, that's what that's what that's what makes Christian good. It's if if we're talking straight skill, um, he's a skillful player, um, but the reason he is good is not because of his skill. Like if you were going to rank him on skill, I'd give him a good. But as far as being able to play mind games, trick his opponent, outthink his opponent, outspeed his opponent, and outtech his opponent. That's where Christian wins 95% of his games. Is because if he doesn't, he doesn't go with the normal. And, and the other 1% is because of him. So, but anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this clan discussion video uh, with my good friend Christian here. You know how these clan discussions work. Video got, uh, videos work, guys. If you want to see more of them, all you got to do is give me 10 thumbs up, and I will continue to do more. I will. Uh, go ahead. I will continue to do these as many as I get 10 thumbs up. So once this one. Um, being uh, the Deep Police one and the Grand Blue one with Zane gets 10 thumbs up, I will bring you more. I'm going to try and do a couple more um, guest appearances for clan discussions. I do enjoy doing this. Um, I do already have a special guest that will be with me for the Great Nature and um, for um, uh, Gold and for Gold Paladin. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to have one for Genesis as well. If he's watching, he knows who I'm talking about. So, um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Make sure you leave comments and feedback, or if you have a question for Christian about Deep Police, Feel free to leave it in the comment section below. He checks the comments quite frequently, and uh, he will um, answer your question to the best of his ability. So. And just so you guys uh, know, uh, I will be uh, signed under Team Z Fighters, and also look out uh, for uh, uh, my uh, uh, Great Die Kaiser uh, deck profile, which I will do after uh, 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 Dallas and. Uh, Sin Buster uh, whenever it comes out. Uh, keep an eye out for that because I will be doing a deck to follow on those. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much for uh, checking this clan discussion video out. Um, if there's something in these videos you'd like to see in the future, please let me know. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up this video, and we'll see you later. Peace out, bitches.